Okay, boys and girls. So, we're going to re uh, reproduce this drawing on the larger grid. Now, this is okay because each square in the smaller drawing just needs to be reproduced on the bigger on the bigger grid. Okay, so the key is to look at each square individually. Now, I also like to draw in some key points. So, you know, I like the corners. So anywhere there's a corner or a key point, I'm going to mark, okay? Etc. all of those and these ones as well. And then I look and I'm going to draw each of them in here. So there's one. And this one would be here, okay? Because this is one, two, three squares down. So one, two, three squares down. And this one is one square across. And then I'm after forgetting my ruler again. Okay, you use a ruler, please. I'm not a good example, I know, but I'm after starting the video now, so I'll continue. You draw a line. I can draw straight lines anyway. <laughs> then I go one square down. And the next one is here and then down and then across. And then I go one, two, three down. One, two, three down. Okay, so the key is to be patient and to look. Okay, when you are doing these, you need to look at this as much as you spend time drawing. Okay, looking is really, really important. Um, now, the eye is, the center of the eye is two squares across from this point. So one, two. Okay. And then there's a square around that. So I'm going to draw that in here. Okay. Now from this point, which is here, it goes up to here. Okay. So because I marked this point and then this point here is one away from this one, I need to join them together. And I continue on just like that. Okay. So do it step by step. Again, you could do each square. Another way to do it would be look. Okay, I'm going to look at this square and it's like this. I'm going to look at the square and it's like this. But I really like the technique where you mark the corner points. Okay, and then join those points together. I think it works really well. Moving on to number two. Reproduce this drawing half the size. Hmm. This means that each square in your new drawing will represent the length of two squares here because you have to half the size of the drawing. So you can see here that we have a triangle, an isosceles triangle that makes up this part. And the isosceles triangle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares in length. Over here, how many squares do you think it's going to be if it's half the size in length? It's going to be four squares in length, okay? Now, before we get into that, let's draw the square where we need to, that we're going to use. So we can see this is a square of six, which that has a length of 16 sides, right? So if we want one that's half the size, we are going to draw a square with a length of eight squares. Okay, so again, use a ruler. 8 by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I've drawn my square with sides of length 8. Boys and girls, I'm using a pen so that you'll be able to see it. Do not use a pen, okay? Now, from the half point of each of these um, sides in this square, our triangle emerges from there. So here's a half point, here's the half point in the length, half point and a halfway point, okay? And we just need to join them together. I'm not going to do it all for you, okay? And then if you count, let's see this point here, you count it's one, two, three, four, five, six from the side and it's one, two up, okay? Now, if it's two squares up over here, it'll be only one square up here. And it was six across, so it'll be one, two, three across. Now I have that point and I can join here and here. And if you continue on like that, you will have a lovely half-size drawing. Okay, 
Now, it's not, it's reduced, all the lengths are reduced by two, okay? But it's actually, it'll be a quarter of the size because you'd be able to fit four of them in there. Okay, but that's what they're looking for you to do, right? Best of luck with that. Now, the challenge at the bottom then, reproduce these drawings three times, la uh, three times larger. So this line here, okay, is one, two squares in the book. You draw it three times bigger, three times longer in your copy. So you'd need to draw it three times two, which is six. This little bit here would be six squares in your copy. Okay, so you just need to be patient. Okay, I hope you understand that.